Right, let's go for a walk around the forest. A daily walk around the forest. We'll catch up with you in the forest. We're not in the forest yet, we're still in the campsite. Which is technically in the forest, <laughs> but not the our forest walk. So, on our walk, we're going to see a few of these. This is the headquarters of the 7th Armoured Division, two miles to the north of Dillington Hall. So, yeah, if, um, if you're interested what the board said, because really it's not my fault, I don't really. Uh, yes. I like to know about the war and things, but I'm not really into reading all these board things. I like to watch it. So, I'm going to be watching Bob Earnshaw's video of his walk around this uh, path. And uh, he's d d documented everything on the boards as we're going round. So I'll leave you a link to his video of this walk and if you want to know what's on the boards that I'm just going to glance at as we go past them then you could go and watch Bob's videos so let's carry on around this beautiful wood because that's what I'm not more into the beautiful tranquil wood side which is at that tranquil when the at the moment because the uh, army and RAF are doing training missions in the campsite quite near, well in the training grounds quite near to you and you might just be able to hear the distance boom 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 but you get very loud boom boom booms all the caravans are showing and the planes coming over and everything it's a nice place and you'd think being in the middle of a forest, it would be really, really nice and quiet. Unfortunately, we've got the aircraft and everything coming over. A bit like this. So, this one is the daily routine. basically telling you what the soldiers did from when they got up to when they went to bed as I say if you want to know more about that go and have a look at Bob Earnshaw's video on this trail I'm more into this how nice is that How quiet is it? The path is uh, clearly marked with these way markers. So you can't get lost really if you stick to following the way markers. Well, I must say, I've come down here with Bob and Poppy and obviously Bex the other day and I wasn't really taking much notice where I was going and then yesterday I came down on my own with Bex and I kind of got to this point here and we're like running parallel with the road up there and the, road, the path suddenly bends off and goes into the forest so I carry, carries on following it and after two or three hundred yards I'm thinking to myself have I missed me turning should I turn right and gone back to the road because we do come back out of the road but not after not till after it's weaved all through the forest So if you listen, I don't know if it's going, you're going to hear it on the GoPro, 
but you can clearly hear the bangs well in the distance you can hear the bangs which seems to get very loud at times you tend to think they're right here in the forest where you so over there you can see where they've done the training exercises and I don't know if it's the scouts or the troops where they've had to make the shelters I thought they were bonfires at first but there's quite a few of these things in different shapes and sizes so I'm presuming they, they had to at some stage they've had to make a shelter and then they've probably put branches with leaves on over and had to sleep in there overnight that's only what I presume it could quite easily be something totally different but having watched some of these survival programs I presume that's what they are we'll see another one further down here that looks more like a, a shelter oh. so over there to our left is another one which looks more like a tent structure than a we get the marquee structure, uh, not marquee, wigwam structure. It's over there in the woods over there. So, and then as we move further down here, come on, Bex, we're moving further down here. We're going to one that actually looks like a tent, another tenty type structure. I guess uh, could be entirely wrong, could be some weird ritual that goes on in the dark that we don't know about. You do hear some funny noises coming out of these woods at night, I can tell you. Sound like yeast being strangled. And now, here's the other, and this is the one closest to us. And you can see, it look, definitely looks like somebody's been making a shelter of some description. Oh, on there, I hadn't noticed before. Back towards the road, we're going to come to a small, well, two small billets, and it is the, a small desert rats museum. I don't think it were open when Bob come, but uh, it's not something I'm that interested in going in, so I won't be going in. And plus, I've got Bex with me, so I probably won't be able to go in. So, this is like over there in the hollow you can see the accommodation building the foundations of this accommodation building come back and just as a matter of interest these things are actually built on sandbags not brick sandbags so let's get in keeping brick with the arm in tip so coming up here on the left is the little museum I was telling you about. I think it's basically the dining area. Come on Becky Boo. Come on. Bex is, it. Bex is enjoying a walk in now. Aren't you Bex? Yeah, when we were coming in on the to the site, you probably saw the tank at the end of the road on the on the video. Well, this is telling us a bit about the Cranwell tank and Raimi. Again, like I say, we want to watch and see what all these signs say. Go across to Bob Birdshaw's channel. 
I'll leave a link down there to Bob's channel and I'd just like to say we've got a new subscriber or two new subscribers technically even though they both subscribe on the same thing so I'd like to say uh, hello to Phil and his nephew Henry uh, welcome to our channel thanks for subscribing and I hope you've enjoyed our little walk around the forest I think Henry might have enjoyed that yeah, look all that exploring you can do in that forest Henry I'm, I'm taking it Henry's quite young if you're not quite young Henry you're quite old or you know, you, <laughs> you don't do that type of thing anymore I'm sorry but all I got was my nephew Henry so if that's your thing Henry you can get come and explore in the forest here in Norfolk if it's not your thing don't bother coming if you like aeroplanes and bombs going up boom 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 it's definitely your thing and now I think I'm going to wrap that video up about here we're back on the road to the campsite and if, if you like the video give us a thumbs up and why not subscribe it's free to do so and it doesn't cost you anything so it's just like Henry and uh, Uncle Phil have so and it all helps our channel grow so we can keep bringing you these videos and once again thank you for watching goodbye oh adios as Ermin would say so once again thank you for watching goodbye